Hello, Pally. Today is April 9th, 2019. And focus starts right now. It's a cinematic episode of In Focus today, as we bring you some play Pally Filmmakers entries from this year's Student Television Network Convention. And the cinematic theme continues as Pally Filmmakers get ready to screen their latest films. We'll tell you when and where you catch these Pally-made flicks. And right now, the ho hotly contested contest for Israel's Prime Ministership is nearing conclusion. We'll have the latest exit poll results. All that and more is coming up on today's show. Welcome to In Focus. I'm Thomas Colbert. And I'm Jason Goldie. Jason, I had a pretty hard time getting back into going into school after that long break. Me too, Thomas. And you and I were at STN in Seattle before the break. So it's been a while since we've been back at the desk. And it seems most of Pally is trying to get back into the swing of things. Let's see what's happening in today's campus bulletin. First, the annual Stanford Pre-Medical Conference is a great opportunity for students interested in the medicine to interact with physicians. This year will feature the theme, Medicine in the World, Exploring Global Health and Medical Humanities. SPC 2019 will take place on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. This Saturday is busy in the East Bay as well. Cal Day at UC Berkeley includes tours, events, and info sessions for incoming students, prospective students, alumni, and the general public. The event will take place on the UC Berkeley campus from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pally Theater is performing its annual One Act. Auditions are being held today after school for any students interested in being a part of one of six short shows that are student directed with all but one being student written. Many roles are available and doesn't require much commitment. Service day is Monday, April 22nd. While some students will be excused from class to go out and volunteer at sites, Key Club will host an on-campus activity during lunch on the quad. Students who would like to volunteer at an off-campus site should sign up at the link on the screen. Moving on now from what's going on around campus to what's happening in the world and locally today. Let's take a look at what's topping today's headlines in today's News Minute. Netanyahu, who has served 10 uninterpreted years as Israel Prime Minister, is having his power contested. His clout and recognition are a remarkable achievement, but at home he has become a highly polarizing figure. Netanyahu has fought this election in the face of looming indictments for bribery and breach of trust offenses. Currently, exit polls show Netanyahu closely behind his competitor, but results won't be final until all votes are tallied. Social media networks have faced criticism for their role in, sp in spreading extremist ideologies online. During today's hearing on hate crimes, YouTube was forced to disable comments on its live stream after receiving a flood of racist and anti-Semitic comments. The social media companies were joined in a panel by representatives from civil rights groups. As more information is revealed on these stories, we'll keep you posted. Now let's move on to the news of the past in this installment of Today in History. What do you have for us today, Derek? Thanks, Thomas. Today marks the end of the Civil War, as General Robert E. Lee surrendered at the Appomattox Courthouse. He surrendered his 28,000 troops to Union General Ulysses S. Grant, effectively ending the American Civil War. Forced to abandon the Confederate capital of Richmond, blocked from joining the surviving Confederate forces in North Carolina, and harassed constantly by the Union cavalry, Lee had no other option. That's all from me. Back to you guys. Thanks for that, Derek. The Civil War is one of my favorite historical events to study, Jason. Well, I prefer studying the golden age of cinema. I'm a pretty big movie buff. Well, Jason, you're in luck. When In Focus returns, we will have Pally's entry for the Crazy 8 Film Contest at this year's Student Television Network Convention. And Anthony is in the studio and is ready to give us all the latest on Pally Sports. And it's a beautiful day out there. I'll let you know if the great weather will continue in today's weather report. In Focus will be right back. Hey Al, I, I have been thinking, um, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want things to turn out the way they did. You know, I, I, I can't imagine my, my, without you. Huh? Gotcha. Leave a message.
Movie buffs like me better clear your schedules for this Friday. That's right, Jason. Because as we just saw, this Friday is Pali Annuals Film Festival. The festival features a curated selection of work from spring 2017 to winter 2018 from the filmmaking and graphic design classes at Pali. Selected work has screened at the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences recognized film Synquest AMC Times Square in New York and have been sent to San Francisco International Film Festival, Scholastic, and the Regional Emmys. Come see the films in this Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. in the MAC. The Pali Film Fest is sure to be a great time. Recently, Pali filmmakers Max Rosenblum, Jared Yang, Ori Nearpaz, Sam Miller, and Theo Theodore Shang competed in the Crazy It competition for film at the 2019 Student Television Network convention in Seattle. The, the contest gave the filmmakers just eight hours to go from concept to creation of the short film. The students were given the title Puddle Jumper and had to include a green poncho in their film. Let's take a look. Where am I? <laughs> How did I end up here? Because when I'm done with them, the only thing left are the puddles of blood on my poncho. Jason, how was your spring break? It was great, Thomas. I got a lot of much-needed rest. Well, Pali athletes also got a chance to take a short break from their hard work, but they'll be back and better than ever after school today. Anthony, let us know what to expect. There were no games yesterday. Sorry. Boys JV Baseball will play hardball at Cupertino at 4 p.m. Girls JV Softball will bring their A game and Burley game at 5.15 p.m. Boys JV Lacrosse will also play Burley game at 5.15 p.m following boys varsity lacrosse at 7 p.m. Now back to you. I'm excited to see the wins that our athletes bring home today. Hopefully they don't get too cold with all the wind ex we're expecting today. Let's see how long that windy weather will last. As you can see, Wednesday through Friday, we're expecting a lot of sunshine on Wednesday and Friday with a lot of sun coming before the weekend and then Wednesday is going to be a little cloudy through Thursday next part of the next week will still be a lot more sunny well that does it for today's episode be sure to visit our website to check out all episodes check the bulletin or to send us an email until next time have a great day Pally